Hello, AI enthusiasts. Welcome back to the AI Foundation Learning, where we break down complex AI concepts for everyone. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic, types of large language models, or LLMs. Whether you're just starting out, a passionate enthusiast, or a seasoned professional, this video will help you understand the different types of LLMs and their applications. So let's get started. Large language models, or LLMs, are a type of artificial intelligence designed to understand and generate human language. They are trained on massive data sets and can perform a wide range of language tasks. But did you know there are different types of LLMs? Let's explore them. Now let's look at the different types of large language models. We'll cover three main categories, pre-trained models, fine-tuned models, and specialized models. First, let's talk about pre-trained models. Pre-trained models are LLMs that have been trained on vast amounts of text data from the internet. These models learn a general understanding of language, which can then be applied to various tasks. Some notable examples include GPT or Generative Pre-trained Transformer. Developed by OpenAI, GPT models like GPT-3 and GPT-4 are known for their ability to generate human-like text based on a given prompt. BERT or bidirectional encoder. Representations from Transformers. Developed by Google, BERT models excel at understanding the context of words in search queries and other NLP tasks by considering both the left and right context of a word. Roberta, or robustly optimized BERT approach. An optimized version of BERT by Facebook AI, which improves performance by training on more data with longer sequences. Fine-tuned models are pre-trained models that have been adapted for specific tasks by training them on smaller, task-specific datasets. This process fine-tunes the model's parameters to optimize performance for a particular application. Examples include GPT-3 fine-tuned for customer service. This involves taking a pre-trained GPT-3 model and fine-tuning it on customer service interactions to create a chatbot that can handle customer queries effectively. BERT Fine-tuned for sentiment analysis. A pre-trained BERT model can be fine-tuned on a dataset of movie reviews to accurately predict the sentiment, whether positive or negative, of new reviews. Specialized models are LLMs designed for specific domains or applications from the ground up. These models are trained on domain-specific data to perform exceptionally well in particular areas. Examples include BioBERT, a variant of BERT trained on biomedical literature, making it highly effective for tasks like medical document classification and gene disease relationship extraction. Legal BERT. Trained on legal documents, this model excels in legal text analysis, such as contract review and legal question answering. T5, or text-to-text -text transfer transformer. Developed by Google, T5 is designed to convert all NLP tasks into a text-to-text -text format making it versatile for tasks like translation, summarization, and question answering. In addition to these types, it's important to understand the distinction between open and closed LLMs. Open LLMs are models where the architecture, training data, and sometimes the model weights are publicly available. This transparency allows researchers and developers to inspect, modify, and improve the models. Examples include GPT-2, OpenAI released GPT-2 with full model weights and code, enabling extensive experimentation and use in various applications. BERT. Google's BERT is open source, allowing the community to fine tune and adapt it for different tasks. Closed LLMs, on the other hand, are proprietary models where the internal workings and training data are not publicly disclosed. These models are typically offered as services through APIs. Examples include GPT-3 and GPT-4. While OpenAI has shared some research papers and usage details, the full model weights and training data are not publicly available. Instead, access is provided through the OpenAI API. Claude by Anthropic, another example of a proprietary LLM accessible through an API, designed with a strong focus on safety and alignment. LLMs have a wide range of applications across various industries. One, healthcare. LMs like BioBert assist in medical research, diagnostic support, and personalized medicine. Two, finance models like FinBert help in analyzing financial documents, sentiment analysis of market news, and fraud detection. Three, legal. 
LegalBert enhances the efficiency of legal document review, contract analysis, and legal research. Four, customer service fine-tuned GPT models, power chatbots and virtual assistants, improving customer support and engagement. Some of the key challenges of LLMs include, one, computational resources. Training and fine-tuning LLMs require significant computational power and resources. Two, bias and fairness. LLMs can inadvertently learn and propagate biases present in their training data, raising ethical concerns. Three, interpretability. Understanding the decision-making process of LLMs can be challenging, making it harder to trust their outputs in critical applications. Looking ahead, we can expect continued advancements in LLMs with improvements in efficiency, fairness, and interpretability. Innovations in this field will drive the broader adoption of AI across industries. That's it for today's exploration of types of LLMs. I hope you found this video insightful and now have a better understanding of the different types of large language models and their applications. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more AI-related content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.